Hello ladies and gentlemen, StarCraft Nation, Zoya here from the StarCraft Squad, and today I'm bringing you their first ter ter Terran tutorial of online um, strategies. This one's going to be for TVZ. What it's really good against is pretty much any type of Zerg um, layout. Um, you have to be very strong with your micro, and it's very, very risky um, if you're not, like, if you don't do well at transitioning. So, here's what the build is. It is a heavy Marauder, heavy Hellion build. Now, what what's going to happen is we're going to watch my build order, and then we're going to go into a game where I um, actually use it against the Zerg. So, um, you, of course, you're going to want to wall off, but this is just to get the builder done. So, you Supply Depot on 10, Barracks on 12, Refinery on 13, keep building SCVs. Right now, you're just waiting for your Barracks to be done. You're going to Orbital on 15, get guys in gas immediately, tech, or build a Marine first, of course, for early pressure. Put a Tech Lab down. As soon as your orbital command is done, you put down another refinery. You need double gas for this. Get, make sure you don't supply deep block yourself. Um, you want to put a factory down as soon as you hit 100 gas, and then you want to put your second barracks down before you build your first marauder. So right now we got first marauder on the way. Got to keep building marauders. Get stim researched. Put a, refact, a, a reactor down on this one. Put tech lab down on this one. Keep building SCVs. You got to be very careful of supply blocking yourself because I supply block myself right here. But this is just the build order tester, so you want to make sure you're not supply blocking yourself. Now you're going to keep building Marauders. You want to get Concussive Shell as well with the stem. You want to get lots of Hellions. Lots and lots of Hellions. It's a very, um, it's a very gas or mineral heavy build. So, as soon as you start, as soon as you, um, about 15 seconds after building the reactor, you want to take guys out of this gas. I didn't point that out. But you want to take guys out of this gas and you only want one guy in this gas. So once you have the reactor down, you want to research stem. And once you have the reactor down on this one, you want to research, um, or you want to get guys out of your second gas and put them on minerals. Now you're going to keep building Marauders, and about the time I have four Hellions is when I make my move out. Um, you want to build two more and set the rally point to one of your Marauders, and you want to set the rally point from these barracks, keep them in your base. You don't want to move out with more Marauders. Um, depending on how much pressure you're doing, you might want to send them out some more, depending on what you scout. But So, how to transition, um, I didn't do this in the replay. Um, it depends on what they're going. The bane of this build is if they go Mutalisk, if they scout what you're doing, which is why you want to wall off and build your stuff back. If they scout what you're doing, though, they're going to go Mutalisk, and most of their goes Mutalisk anyway. So if you see Mutalisk coming, you're also going to put an Engineering Bay down about the time you're moving out and get some turrets up, and then start pumping out Marines out of these guys. You wanna, um, also, build another Barracks, transfer the Barracks to the Refinery to get uh, more Marines out, put Tech Lab down, maybe get some Thors and Siege Tanks. So the transitioning is pretty simple, and you're also able to ex expand when you move out. The um, great part about this build is it does a lot of damage, so much damage, it does so, so much damage, it applies a lot of pressure. So we're going to go to the replay where I use this build. Um, I'm not that one. Uh, I hope I still have it. Uh, not Lost Temple. Where is it? Um, I thought I did it yesterday night before I went out. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's this one. I probably should have checked that before I uh, made this re this video. But um, it's probably th it's it's this one. I'm pretty sure. I thought it was on Zelmaga, but we're gonna do it here. Okay, so it is this one. So we're gonna just speed right along through the build order. We're gonna watch what I scout. And we're going to judge based off of that. So, um, right now on Naps Like Lost Temple, when you go out to scout, put my supply depot down under the wall. Here's what you got to do. You move your SCV first up here because most Zergs, they'll send your Overlord over. Overlords have more sites than your building. So, they'll see the building and then they'll pull back to not let you know you have close positions. But if you send your SCV over here, you'll see the Overlord. So, you know they're close position. So, sending my scout out. Just fulfilling the build order like it should be done. And I'm immediately going to go uh, to the spot where he's at so I can scout when he expands and when he, uh, um, you know, does, uh, you know, spawning pull and stuff. So um, I'm going to scout a spawning pull before uh, Extractor, which means probably Banelings and a lot of early pressure or Roaches. Actually, maybe I'm just sitting outside his base. I want to know when he expands because when he expands is key. So this guy's getting a little bit of a harass going on. Um... Orbital Command going down. I forget what this guy does. This this game was like two days ago. Um, supply depoting, putting Tech Lab down. 
I know I'm not really caring to wall off. Sometimes I don't wall off against Zerg, so we're getting speedlings. Pulls units. Still no expansion. So we know a late expansion. Which means I'll be able to do a lot of pressure with this build. Um, the later the expansion, the better for this build. It also works against an early expand, depending on what they're doing. But against this, I know he's not going early, early Muta, so I've got a good chance. So, put my second barracks on a little bit late. Stim's already on the way. Pumping out Marauders. Now, you got to be very careful, because if you don't have a, a Marine in your group, um, and you have your Marauders and Hellions selected, st uh, it'll have the Marauders on top of the mar mar uh, the Marines, on the Hellions on top of the Marauders, so you won't be able to stim. So make sure you have your own little control binding for your Marauders. Um, Tech Lab going down on that, transferring guys out of gas. Trying to do a little bit of early, uh, you know, scouting, but I denied what I was going on up here. Still building heli gotta get the Hellions, gotta get the Marauders out. Concussor Shell should be getting researched very soon. There it is. And obviously, I've, um, you know, compared to the Builder Tester, I've messed up my order just a little bit. You know, got the late second barracks. So this, um, this attack's coming at the seven minute mark. And he's got that many Zerglings, and I'm pretty much keeping them out, so, um, you want to get lots of Hellions. You don't want more, lots of Marauders. Marauders are um, okay, but you don't want lots of Hellions. So we got the Spire going down. Um, it's about a right time for this one the build he's doing. He's getting a Spine Collar down as well. So we got f four Hellions, and I'm going to be moving out right now. Or six Hellions. And that's that's the beauty of this build. If you do the uh, second late barracks, you can get a lot more Hellions out. But right now, I'm moving out. And... I'm um, going to set a rally point, so be very careful with your uh, marine, because if he dies like this, you have to be careful with your stim. And right now I'm doing a lot of early pressure. And he gets a good surround on me, which you should try and deny as much as possible. But I have still two Hellions up, and a lot of Marauders. So right now I'm just going to be trying to use my Hellions to pick off as many uh, Zerglings as I can, many drones as I can, and use the Marauders to take down the base. So here comes the final kill. I mean, these guys, you know, because of the hatchery being killed and all these Zerglings coming in. I did a lot of damage with that attack. So I also scan right now see the Spire. Already had put down an Engineering Bay. Like I said, when you move out, you put the Engineering Bay down. You get your turrets down. Build another Barracks. Get the Starport, you know. And at this point, it's just knowing when the transition. So he comes in with these bunch of Zerglings. But I have a lot of Hellions. And a lot of Marines. I'm going to be getting medibacks for drops because I know we're close position. And this is just how to transition. Still building uh, marines, lots of marines because I saw the mutilisk. Here come the mutilisk, but I have turrets placed around certain structures. And I also have marines, so that pretty much denies anything you can do with that. Starting to put on my expansion. Um, he is doing a lot of damage over here, but that's because I'm doing a drop. And he's going to have to pull back for that. I'm going to be killing his Baneling Nest here, I think. I don't remember if I actually killed it. Okay, so I almost killed all his Mutalisks. Come over here with my Hellions and do a little bit of damage. Pull my Medivacs back. Still producing units over here, though. Still getting the Hellions. Getting a little bit of Medivac, getting a little bit of Viking. Expansion's almost finished. Going to be putting an Orbital Command down, transferring some SCVs. Um, a good thing also to get would be swapping this out for uh, another Barracks and getting a Tech Lab and an Armory. Get some Thors. Thors do a great job against Mutalisk. And right now, since we're about two base at the same time, because I killed this vert base, um, right now I pretty much have the advantage. I mean, I did a lot of damage with that attack, so it was definitely worth it. Now I'm going to be doing another drop very soon, loading up. And at this point, it's going to be very close to GG's. Moving out with my Vikings to stop the Mutalisk. He doesn't have very many Banelings. Here comes the drop. Going to stim. And at this point, I have such a huge force that he GG's. And I win. So that's how to use this Marine or um, Hellion Marauder build. It's very strong, guys. It is very, very strong. Especially at low level play. Um, a lot of people don't see it coming. I mean, the Marauders counter roaches so hard. I'm, I wish I would have had a replay of them using roaches because the roaches get destroyed by the Marauders and the Mar Hellions get uh, destroy the Zergling. So the tricky part about this build is if they go early, if they go Mutalisk quick. Like the, uh, this guy didn't go too quick with the Mutalisk. Um, but I've done it against people who go really quick mutalisk, and it can be a really pain in the ass to live. But that's why when you move out, you get your engineering bay down, and you put some turrets down, get an armory, start pumping out some uh, Thors and stuff, and you should be fine. So the transitioning can be a little bit difficult, but the early pressure is great. So this is one of our, this is our first um, strategy build.
uh, post a comment down below what you think, and I will, uh, you know, adjust what I need to do. And we plan on doing a lot of these guys. We're gonna do every Terran build. We're gonna do every Zerg build. We're gonna do every Protoss build. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.